Hi there, I'm Adam from Cutboard Studio. Welcome to the first episode of our 3D breakable slow polypack tutorial series. In this episode, we will cover how to get started. Let's begin by creating a new project in Unity Hub. The 3D breakable low polypack was created for the Universal Render Pipeline, so we'll choose the Universal 3D template. Of course, you can choose the built-in render pipeline. Check out later videos on how to transition to it. Let's name our project. Choose suitable name for it like how to use. Time for importing the asset pack. Go to Window, Package Manager, select the 3D breakable low poly pack, and download it. Always check for a new version of an asset before importing it. And finally, import the asset into Unity. Let's inspect a few scenes to ensure everything went as expected. Go to 3D Breakable Low Polypack, Scenes, and open Scene 1. After a few seconds, you should see that everything looks fine. Now open second scene, click to destroy. You will be prompted to import the text mesh pro asset, which will display my comments in the scene UI. Enter play mode and click on some items to check is the asset working correctly. Perfect. Now let's focus on the real topic. We'll create a new scene and learn how to use asset inside of it. Go to assets Right click in the project window and choose create scene. Change name for something better. Open up new create and scene. Let's start by creating some environment. Right click in the hierarchy tab, choose 3G object, plane and rename it to floor. Now it's time for adding some item. Go to 3D breakable low polypack, prefabs, item breakable folder, choose an item and drop it into hierarchy tab. Be aware that all of these prefabs names ending with C, like complete. Now let's add some item which will collide with our barrel. Right click in the hierarchy tab, Go to 3G objects and choose cube.
Let's move our new created cube above barrel so it will smash it. We just need to remember to add rigid body component. Now, as we enter play mode, we can observe two things. First, cube will smash our barrel. That's perfect. Second, in the hierarchy tab, destroyable manager was created for us. As you can see, each time when this destroyable manager is missing from the scene, the script created it for us. Now, let's go to 3D breakable low poly pack, resources, and add Destroyable Manager to our scene. As you can see in Inspector tab, now you can use all of the more advanced features of this asset. Okay, that's all for this episode. If you found this useful, click the thumbs up button below. If you have any additional questions, Please do not hesitate to contact me directly through the Cutbox Studio Discord channel. Thanks for your time and hope to see you in the next one.